hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will see how you can implement the modern enhanced and improved look and feel of the entity list in power pages you can see here this is a list that is used for enhanced and model and modern uh, ui of list okay you might have seen the old classic way which looks uh, very uh, very not that much in that much enhanced look and feel but this looks better right if you click on add new button it will open a pop-up and in this pop-up it will display the form that will be used to create a new record right but previously the pop-up was displaying as an animated way with uh, high uh, shadow but this looks better and to enable this look and feel you see the search box is also placed in a better way you can filter your uh, columns using filter by option right you can use filter option so that it will display the records on the fly and sorting is enabled in line with the column and um, infinite scrolling is implemented that is most important so in previous version the paging was there but uh, in this improved version you can just keep scrolling and the page the records will be loaded keep loading so page clicking is not required paging is not uh, the classic paging will not be available rather you can uh, avail the infinite scrolling feature here and uh, for each row you can manage these options by using view more delete and uh, edit actions in line okay previously it was display drop down right side uh, but uh, here using three dots it is displaying the options so infinite scrolling and the buttons are also better look and feel search box better look and feel filter is associated here filtration okay then if you want to also change look and feel of this list you can do that so if you go to design studio click on the list component and in here if you click on this edit list edit list you will find the option here to enable the improved version of the component list component click this enable it and you will see this type of list modern list control or component if you want to add more customization here you can click on this edit uh, design and here you can add header and row information let's say i want to add a border so let me add a border i can give one pixel so it will give a one pixel border right and you can change the height if you want to change the height and you can set a margin let's say i want to set a margin one pixel and padding you can define let's say padding i want to give 10 pixel you can give a shadow if you want to uh, enable a shadow you can give a shadow uh, pixel here you see it gives a shadow here right let me give one shadow okay now it is giving a shadow in each row you see <coughs> in the header design also if you want to change the background of the header you can just change it let's say i want to give two percent or i can increase the size you see the header row is now uh, changing the color okay now you can change the uh, font family also font weight you can make it let's say bold then the uh, header will display bold structure font size you can also set bold let's say i want to set one pixel border then it will give a border on the top header row for each row you can also design let's say in the background color i want to change i want to display white color and 100 uh, percent then it will like this you can change the percentage also white percentage and uh, background percentage let me you can change this color also here so that it will change the row color right let me keep it white for now and the font size i can make it let's say uh, let's say 12 pixel or you can change it here if you want to change it it will uh, change the size the slider is given for you okay then alignment is there border is there if you want to give a border in each row you just change the border here which will give the border now this table will look like this the list if you click on the preview you can see 
we have applied some styling to the list which was not available in the uh, classic version of the list component okay because in the classic component we use css manual manual css but uh, ui was not there to set the style of a list but now you can see you can set the style of a list component this look very much modern here right so instead of uh, using a bulky uh, drop down to display more options you have a flyout window that will give you more options for that uh, record and details thanks everyone watching this video i'll come with more technical videos uh, gradually stay tuned next time bye guys